Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Well, today is May 1st. It's my daughter's birthday, Tia. So, I sung her happy birthday this morning, like I do to my both my kids every year. Or at least I try to. Uh, today is kind of sunny, cloudy, doesn't know what it wants to do. <clears throat> I'm on my way to the shop. I'm picking up the keys to the new shop and my sister is going to be meeting me there and we're going to be starting to move stuff. George is going to come tomorrow and start moving the heavy stuff <clears throat> and uh, I've got Dennis, um, my niece's guy that put my grid wall up the last time. He's going to come and put up the shelving tomorrow and hopefully that all works itself out <clears throat> but yeah so it's happening it's happening I am got my blood work done this morning I'll find out the results tomorrow uh, everything seems to be happening tomorrow <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah so I'm excited uh, I'm I am not as stressed out as I thought I was going to be. Excuse me. I just had my yogurt this morning. <laughs> um, so, uh, moving my head around is not wonderful. Uh, I'm still dizzy. Should I be driving? Probably not. But you know what? I got to do what I got to do. If I'm going to be living with this vertigo for a while <clears throat> then I just have to get on with it just be very careful when I'm driving don't move my head too much um, and just deal with it George is trying to get me to take motion sickness medicine to see if that helps because <clears throat> I was telling the doctor yesterday that you know this is not like um, the labyrinthitis that I had before with the labyrinthitis oh my god that was bad um, the whole room was spinning it was it was awful <clears throat> um, and I was throwing up and it was oh, it, it was bad um, this is like motion sickness you know like if you're on a boat and you're feeling feeling motion sick that's what this is kind of like so me moving my head around and <clears throat> moving my eyes up and down and stuff it makes me nauseous and dizzy which makes it really hard to crochet I might add <sighs> I'm trying really hard to crochet but it's difficult right now because when I put my eyes down that's when I feel really dizzy and, but it's not like when you put your eyes down and put them up and then you're dizzy for a minute and it goes away. With putting my eyes down, the dizziness stays. <clears throat> so then I get nauseous and like it doesn't correct itself. So yeah, it's weird. But anyway, um, I don't know exactly what we're going to get done today. I'm hoping to get my desk put together and get my two shelves put together, start moving stuff in. I don't want the stuff in everybody's way for when they come and start putting up the shelves. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, maybe we could possibly get the shower curtain up, or the, the change room curtain up. That would be cool. Uh, although I don't know how I'm going to be on a ladder. Fun times. I have a feeling that Jeff, um, Jeff, my, the wood guy, the guy that makes all my decals and everything, he's become a good friend now. <laughs> you know? Um, he, I, I'm hoping he's going to come by. He's apparently going to be putting some lighting in for that hallway, which I was not expecting. <clears throat> so that's awesome. Um, so maybe he can help with a few things as well. Uh, 
that was that, so that would be good. <clears throat> so anyway, okay, so on onward and upward. I'll uh, try and videotape as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's get this done. Okay, you guys, here it is. This is my windows. This is the walls, ceiling. Oh. <laughs> um, so you come down in here. And then I've got this little alcove, I think is gonna be where my change room is gonna be. And this is my nemesis. It's dark and I've gotta figure it all out. This is cement, this is wall. So the lighting is gonna to need to be fixed. And this is where my yarn was gonna go. But we'll figure it out. So. Here we go. So we're gonna start. This is the first piece in the new shop. <laughs> so then we can go down here. These stairs are a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, Charlene's taking pictures. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm not doing what I do best, taking the pictures. <laughs> Then we go through here, and this is my old shop. So, we can bring stuff through here. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get started. Yay! Hi, Yarnabees. Well, day one. Didn't start off very good. Very good. Um, there is a, uh, right in the back of the store, uh, the new store, down that hall, it goes towards the bathroom. <sighs> There's two stairs. And the, sec the second stair, or the first stair, I guess it is, is drops like a foot and a half like it drops hard so when you're going up the stairs you trip because your toe hits the first step when you're coming down the stairs you misstep because you don't realize how it's very deceiving so you don't know exactly how far down you are going I wasn't even there for 10 minutes and I had a full. I had a shelf in my hands. Thank God I did because <clears throat> the shelf is tall. It goes up to about my chin. And when I went down, the shelf hit the floor first and then I went down second and I landed square on my knees. My, I twisted my ankle and I landed just on my knees. I don't have much fat around my kneecaps. Actually, I don't have any. I have chicken legs and so I thought I broke my kneecaps. I was just I mean, first of all, I was stunned, but when I landed, I landed hard and it jarred everything from my waist up. Ow. So, um, my knee is all messed up. My, my right knee is messed up. I, I'm bleeding and it, I did that this morning and it's now six o'clock in the evening and my knee is still bleeding because uh, I'm on blood thinners right so yeah I've got blood all over my pants so I'm gonna have to take muscle relaxers or something when I get home because I'm gonna feel this I already feel it kind of in my lower back um, but I know I'm gonna feel this hard tomorrow. <clears throat> My knee's swollen. Um, yeah. And then my 
my sister came running because she heard the crash and bits of the shelf were all over the place. I'm sprawled out. And uh, she went next door and she went and talked to the people that own the building. And she said, that has to get fixed. You know, like, that is dangerous. Sandy's on the floor, you know. And uh, all they said was, I told her three times to watch that stair. put a couple pieces, nailed a couple pieces of wood down at the floor. Um, it helped. It brought it up about two inches. But, yeah. That's not good. Oh, baby. That's the door that I have to go to the bathroom to get to the bathroom. And then on the other side of the door, there's two more steps that go down. I can't do anything about it. I can't get angry at them. I can't, nothing, because they know that I'm having dizzy spells and stuff, so they can just blame that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't even know how to feel about some stuff. It wasn't a great way to start. So it was a bit slow moving. I didn't get all of it in the shop. Um, I've got, uh, Dennis is coming tomorrow to start putting the shelving up. <coughs> and uh, then we can move the rest of the stuff into the shop and start organizing it all. Hopefully by the end of the weekend, maybe possibly, I might actually be able to open my shop on Monday for business. But yeah, there's some things in there that need to be dealt with, and apparently, it's up to me to deal with them. So, uh, not happy about that, but. Thank God for Jeff. That's all I can say. He saved my ass today. He helped move the big stuff that George was going to be moving tomorrow. But he, uh, he came in and he helped out. And I have a feeling that he's going to be having to help me with some other stuff as well. And have to deal with that. George is too busy. He's working two jobs. Um, you know, so, and George is not, he, he doesn't know how to do certain things. He can't build stuff. He doesn't know electrical stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't know any of that kind of stuff. So that's where Jeff is going to be really helpful. Um, I told George, I says, you know, he's helped out a lot. So I would really like to get his wife and him a gift certificate somewhere for dinner because uh, you know it's just I mean his wife is allergic to everything everything like I, I don't know where the hell they could go and eat that they can you know like I don't know <clears throat> so anyways I'll have to look into that Anyway, I'm exhausted. My head hurts. I haven't eaten. I've been nauseous all day. Um, yeah, I'll be glad when this is all done. Because I'm not having much fun right now. <sighs> not at all. Like, I'm just, I'm ready to cry. I just, I can't even believe I did that. That's three falls that I've had. <clears throat> in the last year. I don't fall. This is this is what I don't understand. 
you know, I'm not the type of person that trips and falls and hurts myself. And I've had three falls in the last year. I, I just don't understand. I mean, the first one was because of a gate that flexed and I went flying and it went flying and I landed on a cement floor and I haven't been the same since. Um, the second one <clears throat> was it rained outside and I slipped on the grass on a, a little bit of an incline and I landed on the same hip that I fell on the first time and now this one. funny thing is is that this fall didn't have anything to do with me being dizzy it had everything to do with that goddamn stare so yeah hmm. anyway okay I'm gonna go I will talk to you later I'll try and get some video tomorrow Of, uh, what's going on at the shop. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. I will talk to you later. Good morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? I, uh, <laughs> today is the third day since I had my fall at the shop. I talked to you, told you guys about that, right? I don't even remember what I've talked to you guys about. Um, third day is always the worst. I'm feeling it pretty good today. <coughs> um, and it's not good. <laughs> um, so, a fun fact. <laughs> not so fun. I was... Uh, um, I was renting, well, the store beside me in the old shop had internet and Wi-Fi, and so I was paying them, you know, for using their Wi-Fi. I moved two stores down from them, and there's no Wi-Fi. So that's an expense that I wasn't expecting, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm set that up this morning. Um, I'm just waiting for them to call me with a date to get them to come in and install it. Um, oh God, it's just one thing after another after another. I'm waiting to hear from Dennis today. He's going down to Victoria to talk to the people that I get shelving and stuff from in Victoria to see if he can find something that's going to make that shelving system work. You guys, I swear to God, I yesterday I had a meltdown. Like I just I couldn't take anymore. <clears throat> my sister picked me up off my ass basically <laughs> and uh, dusted me off and said okay we're gonna just do the things that we can control right now and um, deal with the rest later at that point I couldn't think for myself I couldn't I just I wanted to curl up in a ball and not do anymore she wouldn't let me do that <laughs> she says, no, you got to keep fighting. You keep got to keep going. I love my sister, but sometimes. You know, <laughs> it's like, can I just have a moment? Like, I just want to have a moment and sit here and just break down. She says, no, because then you won't get up again. You know, she's right. So, 
um, we started trying to move around some stuff yesterday that we could. I still have no idea where I'm going to put everything. Um, I'm just putting shelves up on the walls and <sighs> dealing with everything later, I guess. I, I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> so I can't really do a whole lot until Dennis gets the things that we need to deal with the shelving. So we're just going to be moving stuff, hopefully, from the old shop to the new shop, trying to keep it out of the way. And, um, oh, <laughs> I have my curtain for my um, change room. I put them in a box. I put the box in my car. I'm sure I did. And I put the box into the shop. I'm sure I did. I can't find it anywhere. It's gone. I don't know where it is. Um, I don't know. So there's that uh, but I mean I, I'm just losing my mind I'm so frustrated I'm hurting I I feel broken like physically mentally spiritually um, and it's taking everything to not just throw my hands up so, anyway, I'm hoping today's going to be a good day. Okay, let's do it together, guys. This is, this is what George and I have been doing now. Okay, clap our hands together. Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be a great day. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to work out. <sighs> yes. Everything's going to work out. <sighs> Do you believe it? Should I believe it? <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to believe it, you guys. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to go to Tim Hortons. I'm going to get myself coffee. <sighs> and we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to roll with it. And try not to cry. <laughs> Oh, poor Bailey is just beside herself pissed off at me. She's just like, okay, what is going on? You haven't taken me to the shop. You know, I'm missing my buddy, Dave. Like, what is happening? Um, so, yeah, she's not happy with me right now either. Like, she won't even cuddle me to, you know, usually she cuddles me if I'm not feeling well or hurting or whatever. She won't even come near me. She's sitting with her dad. I'm <laughs> just, I'm like, okay. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, yarn of bees. <laughs> oh, it's Saturday. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let's start. Start off. Good, okay? You ready? Let's do the clap. Today is going to be a great day. It is going to be a great day. It is going to be a productive day. Today is going to be the day that is going to change everything. Okay? All right. So, I should start all my videos off like that. <laughs> we should all do it together. I think I'm going to do that. Um... Today, as you can see, I'm a lot happier. Uh, I feel pretty good. The worst of my pain is done. Thank goodness. Oh my God. Um, <clears throat> I still hurt, but I'm not near as bad as I was. I'm getting over the fall. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so yesterday, we came up with a plan. And so now I'm focused on, now I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, so, um, <clears throat> so we figured I'm probably going to be, <clears throat> I noticed I've been doing that a lot lately in my, in my videos. I'm sorry guys, but 
I still have that issue with my throat. I don't know. Anyway, um, so Dennis went down to Victoria yesterday and he picked up everything I needed. Okay, so we fi <laughs> with a lot of trepidation, uh, <clears throat> we figured out that all that shelving that we got that George and I bought in Victoria isn't going to work. $300 out the freaking window. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we can use a little bit of it, um, but <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to sell a, a whole bunch of it. So, yeah. anyway. Okay, so, um, yeah, so now we're going to put up grid wall. And Liz, the um, owner building owner whatever um she has a couple of eight foot by two feet grid or slat wall that uh she's going to give to me and then I'm going to replace them so um yeah so we're going to use that in that hallway and then we're going to put uh grid wall or uh, yeah, grid wall above it. Okay, so all of the shelving for the yarn is good. We're golden. <clears throat> um, Dennis picked up a couple more grid walls for the in the other part of the shop for all of my tumblers, the t-shirts, and all of that. So we're going to be putting that up. All put all of that up today. I'm hoping to get my change room up today. I'm going to hopefully be able to get all of this stuff from the other shop into the new shop. And then I'm freaking done with that place. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm, <clears throat> sorry. Tomorrow and Monday, uh, my sister has appointments in Nanaimo. So she's going to come tonight, stay overnight at my place, and tomorrow I'm going to take her to Costco to get her hearing aids dealt with, and while I'm there, I'm going to pick up all of the popsicles and everything that I need for the shop. Then we're going to go to the shop and finish hopefully finish getting the shop set up for the most part. If we can get it all done tomorrow, yay. If we can't, well, we'll just deal with it. Um, then on Monday, my sister has her IV for her Wegner's, Weg, Wegner's disease. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm gonna drop her off at her appointment and then I'm gonna go to the shop George is going to pick her up when she's done and take her home. And maybe if I can sweet talk George, if he's not too busy, if I have anything left to do on Monday, maybe he can come to the shop and help me. But I, by that time, I'm hoping that everything's going to be pretty much done. I got my POS machine all hooked up yesterday. <laughs> Found out, I, I don't know if I talked about, I don't think I talked about this on video. Um, I had no internet, so I didn't have Wi-Fi or anything for my POS to work. So I ended up having to call TELUS, I think I did talk about this, TELUS and get it uh, hooked up on my own account. So that is not going to be able to be put in until the 13th. The 13th, I was supposed to have a uh, session in Victoria with that specialist guy for my ears. So now I have to cancel that appointment. Um, which is fine. It's, it is what it is. <clears throat> um, but I asked Liz if I could, because she's got her shop right beside mine. 
so I asked her if I could use her Wi-Fi until it, and mine gets hooked up and she said yeah no problem <clears throat> so um, so that's good so everything is going to fall into place today right right <laughs> oh, so yeah so I'm excited uh, Charlene and I actually got some stuff done yesterday. We started getting the shop set up uh, as much as we could anyway. And it's starting to look pretty good, guys. I'm pretty happy with it. With the little amount that we did. But after today, after today, it should be rocking. It should, it should be good. So, if I could get all my yarn set up today, oh my goodness, I would be so happy. Oh, I didn't go and buy light bulbs, darn it. <coughs> so, anyway. Uh, okay, so I'm on my way to the shop. Dennis is going to meet me there, and I'm sure that Jeff is going to be coming around soon. Uh, and between the two of them, they'll get all of this stuff done. Thank God for them. I planned on, we're going to get... Jeff and his wife a um, gift card for somewhere nice to go for dinner and then for the family for like Jane, James, no, Dennis and Michelle and Charlene and Dan, uh, her husband Dan and all that. I'm going to have them come to the house <coughs> when all this is said and done and I'm going to do a, a big dinner kind of thing. So, as a thank you, Ugh. and uh, yeah, good times, good times are ahead. I'm excited, I'm um, way more, uh, I don't want to say hopeful, because there's no hope involved in this, it's, this is going to happen, this is happening, <clears throat> everything's good. So yeah, so let's go. Hello, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Today is going to be a great day. <laughs> I'm getting used to doing this. God, I look tired. Uh, so today is, I don't even know what day it is anymore. I think it's Wednesday. Um, I should have had a couple videos out by now, but you know what? This move has been hell. Absolute hell. Um, but it's almost done. God, look at this. Wow. Um, today I'm hoping is going to be the last day that we are going to be moving stuff around. We've just got a few more things to do. I've got to clean up. i got to wash the windows, wash the floors get the rest of the stuff off the floor uh, and then hopefully if all pans out properly we should be opening the doors this afternoon if all goes well so yeah uh, I have a friend a wonderful friend named Terry um, you guys may have seen her comments and stuff in the Facebook group um, she, her and I have been friends for a long time, quite a while. Um, and so she is, she is, oh, she's so wonderful. She has come over, she came over yesterday and got me somewhat organized because I am at the point of no return. I'm just, my brain is just going zzz, and that's it. You know, I can't think anymore. I'm. I, I've just been colossal. I mean, look at this. Like, I'm not even... Oh, I don't even know. Um, so, thank God she came over to help me get the rest of this stuff organized because I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself. So, thank you, Terry. Um, it, she's going to help me today uh, get the rest of it done because <laughs> she, <laughs> she says to me, she says, it's okay, we're going to do this. We're gonna, it's all going to be okay. I'm going, okay. I'm, uh, you know, it's like, it's, it took far longer. 
Oh, excuse me. It took me far longer to do this move than I thought it was going to take. And I'm really not happy about it. Um, we are already into our second week of May and yeah. So, but that's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. We got a handle on this. Um, thank God for Jeff too. Jeff is uh, the, the guy who does my decals and the wood stuff. And he's been coming in and helping as well. You know, it's like I have a tribe. I'm starting to realize that I do have a tribe. Um, and it consists of my husband, Crochet B, uh, my sister, Charlene, and Dennis, my nieces guy um Terry and I just lost my train of thought anyways I have my tribe um which is wonderful because I felt so alone and I felt like I was never going to be able to do this myself I don't know what the heck why this move was the hardest move um third time's a charm. I had people that uh, had some yarn bees asking me, is this your second move, your third move, your fourth move? What is, what is happening? <laughs> this is my third move. Um, and my final move because George and I have decided that we've got a year. We're locked in for a year. Um, and if this doesn't work, we're done. We're not doing this anymore. We've done everything we possibly can to make this work. And if it doesn't go, then it doesn't go and we're just gonna be done with it. So <clears throat> we've got a year to figure this out. Uh, well, less than a year now. I think February, February is our year. So, yeah. Um, but I think now that we're on Willow Street bringing in the frozen treats for the summertime and maybe I'll think about something to do for the winter I don't know uh, I think that that's going to make all the difference um, but yeah it's it's been quite a go it's been a major experience I've learned quite a bit I've learned things not to do <laughs> yeah um so, yeah, so now it's go time. So, yeah, so I'm excited. So I am, once I get to the shop, I'll show you the final. I'm sorry I haven't been able to really do a lot of filming in between. I've just been so busy, so exhausted, so frustrated, just, it's been a grind been a real grind and I just have not felt like filming so I'm sorry about that um, my sister has pictures of the process <laughs> so yeah but anyways okay I'm gonna go and I will talk to you guys in a while when I say it's hell I, it's been hell I mean it's been hell it's been it's been freaking crazy so here's my front door I got just stuff here let me pull you out a bit oops that's going the wrong way oops wrong way sorry guys okay so this is my disaster right now uh, we finally got all the shelving up and everything and so I've got a lot to do yet this gives you kind of an idea of what's happening. <sighs> and uh, I've got, I have nowhere to put stuff, so we're starting to take stuff home. Uh, here's all my patterns. Got, oh, hold on one stop. <laughs>
sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my phone. Um, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, thank you so much, Terry. I, you're amazing. Um, my sister Charlene, she came in for a day or two to help me out and get this going. Um, and it was, it was a lot. Um, my niece, Michelle's guy, Dennis, he actually watches my videos. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> um, he came in and put up all my shelving and everything. Thank you so much. What a hassle that was. It was crazy. Um, the studs in the walls weren't right. Uh, the shelving that I got was wrong. Um, he had to, well, he was going to visit his mom in Victoria. Oh, excuse me. I'm still recovering, you guys. <clears throat> um, he had to visit his mom in Victoria, and down there is where I get my shelving and everything. So he went and picked up some extra shelving and got this done. <sighs> It was a brutal two days of trying to get this shelving going. Um, so I appreciate his patience. I appreciate him um, coming and doing this because there's no way I could have done it myself. No way. Mm -mm. He knows what he's doing. And he was having problems. He was having problems with this. So, but he's a rock star. Um, he knows how to fix things. He knows how to, you know, uh, Jerry rig stuff to make it work so thank you so much <laughs> um yeah so it's uh it, it it's done i'm so happy uh now i just need customers um i've had a few uh but you know it's still god my hair's all over the place today it's still not what it should be <clears throat> uh we had a couple of buses come through but I don't think they made it down this far. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try staying a little bit later in the day. I had my first spider today. That son of a came walking through the door because I had the door open. And Bailey was sitting here. She didn't even go and get it. I was just like, really? Um, and it came crawling. And I didn't see it until it was over here. And it was fast. And it went and crawled up a t-shirt and I went over there and I knocked that sucker down and stomped on it. It was like, uh-uh, you're not coming in here. <laughs> so, uh, it's like, you're not making a home in my store. Mm -mm, not happening. So, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Bailey is absolutely toast. She went for her two walks today that's hot. <sighs> Man, I slept in today. I, I didn't get my full, full, um hours but man I'm tired I'm my knee is still healing so here we've got, got Bailey down here now and I got my knee that's my boo-boo <laughs> oh, I'll tell you once this place tasted blood it was <laughs> that I smudged the, the shop and uh, got all the negativity out so yeah anyway Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I know the ceiling's black. Not much I can do about that. That's the way it was. Um, yeah. It, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm not going to bother painting it. Uh, it's not going to happen. So, anyway. Okay, I'm going to go. I love you all. Don't forget, I have a membership. So if you so choose, there's a button down below that says join. Uh, it's $2.99. And um, yeah, and you guys get to see everything first in, in the membership. So yeah. Okay, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. Okay, bye.